the first step is to check the denominators. The denominators are the same, so we don't touch it. Next step, 7 minus 2 is 5 over our 9. This is our final answer. Whenever the denominators are the same, don't touch it. Let's solve the second question. Whenever you see this type of question, the first thing you have to do is to separate the whole number from the fractions. Like this. 11 minus 2. Next step, open the brackets and write what is left. 9 over 10 minus 2 over 5 plus 1 over 5. Close your bracket. Now, 11 minus 2 is 9. Now, let's solve what is inside the bracket. If you look at the denominators, you will notice that they are not the same. So, what do we do? We find the LCM. So, the LCM of 10, 5, and 5 is 10. 10 in 10 is 1 times 9 is 9 minus 5 in 10 is 2 times 2 is 4 plus 5 in 10 is 2 times 1 is 2. So this becomes our 9 then 9 minus 4 plus 2 is 7 over 10. This is our final answer. You can see that this method is very, very easy and straightforward. Do you understand? You can watch this part over again if you're confused. Okay? First thing is to do what? Let us separate the whole number from the fractions. 32 minus 12. Next step, let us open a bracket. 4 over 5 minus 1 over 5. Close your brackets. This equals 32 minus 12 is 20. Next thing, the denominators are the same. You can see that. So we are not going to touch it. So all we have to do is to touch our numerator. So 4 minus 1 is 3 over our 5. This is our final answer. Did you get it right? Good. Let's solve the second question. Let us separate our whole number from the fraction like this. 23 minus 5 minus 10. Open the brackets. Write what is left. 3 over 5 minus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5. Close your brackets. Now, 23 minus 5 is 18 then minus 10 is 8 our denominators are not the same because of that we will need to find the LCM so LCM of 5 3 and 5 is 15 5 in 15 is 3 times 3 is 9 minus 3 in 15 is 5 times 1 is 5 minus 5 in 15 is 3 times 1 is 3 now this becomes write down your 8 then 9 minus 5 is 4 
then minus 3 is 1 over 15. This is our final answer. Did you get it right?